Well, it's not the news you probably want to hear tonight. Local experts saying prices at the grocery store aren't going down anytime soon. Mm -hmm. The price of eggs remain the highest we've seen in years. So instead of flocking to grocery aisles, people across the country and right here in central Ohio are racing to the coops. 10 TV's Ashley Bornanson met with experts in the industry today to ask, is it worth it? Ah, farm life. Something Dylan Goodman is no stranger to. I am the third generation farmer. Um, my dad and uh, his dad uh, started the farm back in the 1950s. Goodman says with eggflation, his phone has been ringing off the hook. We definitely get a lot of phone calls about people uh, wanting to raise their own chickens. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the price of eggs went up by nearly 12% last year. This year, it's expected to rise by nearly 24%. We had a supply issue in the egg production, especially last year. Uh, the aviation flu has hit uh, the uh, egg farms and it substantially affected uh, the production level. And now we don't have enough stock. But Goodman warns raising a flock might not be the smartest move. You definitely won't be saving much money, if any at all. First off, Goodman says most hatcheries require a minimum purchase of six chicks. I mean, they don't start laying eggs till about 16 to 20 weeks old. So, I mean, you have all the feed before they even start laying eggs. Plus a fenced yard and a chicken coop, and even then. A full-grown chicken only lays about an egg a day um, when they're in full production. They probably have to go up at least a couple more dollars per dozen um, for them to start actually saving money raising their own chickens. Goodman tells me some benefits to raising your own chickens for eggs eggs is knowing where your food comes from and teaching your children responsibility. That, he says, is priceless. Homestead Jen and Phil Tompkins, who own Rent the Chicken, say their sales have gone up about 30 percent this year compared to last. Yeah, so having chickens is really not that hard, but not everybody knows where to start. They recommend renting with guidance from the experts before making the commitment. Once you've paid for the coop, once you've paid for the initial chickens, it only costs you about a dollar twenty to a dollar fifty per dozen to keep those birds um, with with your home. In Cardington, Ashley Bornanson, 10 TV News. Well, now if you're interested in starting a chicken coop at your home, the local experts saying doing it alone could cost you about fifteen hundred bucks in startup fees.